Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to look at the new features that I'm excited to share with you in version 1.1. So if you don't have this version um, found from the About Labyrinths menu or on Windows, it's over in the Help menu that you find the About Labyrinths uh, window, I mean. It should say 1.1. And you'll know you have 1.1 if you hold down your Shift key and, this, and you hit up and down arrows and this happens. So those of you who have been following the channel um, are well acquainted with what that is. That is the elevator sequence for contrary motion. Starting from unison, then we go out to thirds, triads, shell chord, octave, drop two, drop three, drop two and four, and double octave. And that works through a whole octave worth of contrary motion in the outer voice. If you watch the notation, you can kind of see them shrink together. You, of course, could go to a piano keyboard and you could see it that way. If you hold down, the, keep the shift key held down, or you can let go of it for a second and then hold it again for your next move and use the right and left arrows. And that will make parallel motion. It's very zippy. So if you just wanted to practice your shell chords in parallel motion, I don't have this automated in the same way as I do uh, playing a scale of chords where you can hold down um, a key plus space bar. And by the way, I switched that from being shift plus space bar. It is now um, no longer that. It is option or alt plus space bar to auto move through a scale because I wanted to de devote the shift key to doing this elevator type functions because I find it to be just so um, important. So, uh, but you can hold down shift and you can hit a right arrow, play that on your guitar and then hold down shift, hit the right arrow again, play it on the guitar and you can just study that way. So it's like having a PDF of all the shell voicings, of course. But more importantly, you put this in a tune, you can really, you know, you can really move around quite a lot. So I'll get. So where's a nice mid range? Like some around here. Because, of course, like all things in the guitar fretboard, I have it set up so that. When you get to the extreme of the range, so I'm up here at the 12th fret, if I hit right more, one more time, it's going to jump down. So I'm just trying to give a good example where I don't just do that jump in the middle of doing this. So I'm going to get into like kind of a mid-range situation. And then I'm going to go... Uh, um, Notice it'll sometimes find some very creative solutions, uh, uh, but they're they're pretty. But notice we're on a shell voicing. I'm going to hit space bar, and it's going to do a shell voicing for the very next as it moves smoothly to the next chord. But then if I hit the right or left arrows, um, it goes back to the drop two that I had chosen before doing the elevator. So it's just a one chord transition. It goes to, so I'll do that again. I'll go to a, a third or triad, sure. And it went like that. That's how it, it, it finds like little ways to move. So you see, you go pretty little, little three note way to go. It went to a shell from the triad. See, watch. Pretty little things that I'll find to do that um that I'm I'm liking a lot. So like you can explore. Now we have we have options. We have our right and left arrows without the shift key. And we have the bracket keys, which or so all of that. Uh, that's that's just uh, what inverting the chord you're on whether it's the on or off chord But now we have the elevator which can be done with the up and down arrows at the shift key or the right and left for either contrary or parallel motion So you can 
come up with some really beautiful combinations. Maybe. Maybe go. I'll get in the mid range again. So, so let's see. Maybe. So that's pretty. And then I'll go, that was just doing the bracket keys. And then I'm going to hold down shift and hit up twice with the arm. Maybe another one. And then I'll hit right arrow because I've hit the double octave and I want to resolve to my main chord, my on chord. That's pretty. So all these pretty little moves, you can just combine them together and explore, um, are really nice. And it's a good way to explore, you know, unique voicings and stuff like that. So that's the main feature. And then the other feature of this version is that you can take any chord and you can change it now. And it's going to tell you, it's going to analyze it for you. So I'll get a nice middle range so I don't get interrupted by any leaps in range. So see, now it says it's major seven, minor, um, let's see, it says A major six. It'll change its analysis based on whether you've selected the Barry Harris way of seeing things or the seventh chord, like the way you might see it in a chart often, say for a two chord, you know, seeing it as D minor seven or as F major six kind of thing. So now look, all these things, and I can, um, you know, it's 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 a, a vocabulary that I'm going to expand upon um, as we go along. You know, as I move through this, see, it knows that that is that. It doesn't know this chord yet, but it knows this chord. It does know, you know, lots of things, and even see, it knows that that is a minor six, a major six all of this good stuff. So on and so forth, you know, so you can kind of build things. Um, I don't know exactly why it said that, but yeah, you know, I might, you know, might be a little, couple little things that come up as we go, you know, uh, but it's a, it's a useful thing. It could be useful for a, a student or, or anybody really who is, who is uh, messing around on the guitar and maybe they don't know how to analyze everything they're doing and they're curious what something is harmonically that speaking that that they did on their instrument well they can go and enter it into this app um i use the up arrows to uh so i'll i'll find a range and then if i need to go down i'll hit d or up this is in the keyboard shortcut so i can go down it can get a little weird when i keep going down because look what happens to the dots they just kind of get stuck over there and then i move them but then you know, that is uh, F sharp minor six, you know, so it, it's, it'll be correct in telling us these things. Okay. So those are the two features. Um, the big one that I'm very excited about is the elevator, but also the analysis here is fun and can be useful. So there's a lot more to come. As you can see, um, updates are coming pretty quickly. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, working on this a lot. I find it really fun and interesting and I appreciate the support. Everybody who's decided to subscribe, I will link in the comments. There is a trial version for two days. Uh, and then I hope, uh, you know, um, when you try it out that you'll just consider maybe I'm subscribing and supporting this effort. Uh, thanks so much. And, uh, everybody who's been, uh, just a part of this channel, uh, it's been so fun doing this. It's almost been a year now since I started it. 
And uh, there'll be lots more to come, as I said just a moment ago. Um, keep practicing, and I'll talk to you soon.